A small fast food chain operates 60 stores and makes 1.2 million profit every year. So 60 stores is 1.2 million. How much profit would the chain make if it operated 250 stores? Okay, so we set this up as a proportion. We have 60 compares to 1.2 million in the same way that 250 compares to some other number of millions. Now that we have a proportion, all we need to do is cross multiply. So we'll take 1.2 times 250 and we'll take 60 times x. So we'll get 60x equals 1.2 times 250 which is where's my calculator? 1.2 times 250 300 is 300 million dollars. Then we need to get rid of that 60x over here. So we have 60 times x. We'll divide both sides by 60. Divide this side by 60. And we'll get x equals $5 million. Now we check real quick and make sure that's a reasonable answer. If we have 60, we have 1.2 million. 250 is about four times as big as 60. 5 is about four times as big as 1.2. So yeah, that's a reasonable answer. We'll take it. Here we have another proportion. This one's all set up for us, so we just need to cross multiply. So we're going to take 3 in the denominator times 9 in the numerator, and that'll give us 27 for the right hand side. And x in the denominator times 4 in the numerator will give us 4x on the left hand side. Divide both sides by 4, so those 4's cancel. 7 over 4, so x equals 4, 6 times 4 is 24, so that would give us 6 with 3 quarters left over, or 6.75 if you prefer the decimal. Let's make sure that answer is reasonable. If x is a little less than 7, then 4 is about 1 and a third more than 3. 9 is about 1 and a third more than 7. Yeah, so that's reasonable. We'll take it. Okay, one more proportion. We have 0.5 over 3 is equal to 56 over x. We use the same process. We'll go ahead and cross multiply. So we have 3 times 56, which is 168 on the right hand side. And then x times a half is 0.5x on the left hand side and we need to we need to get rid of this 0.5 there's two ways to do it either we can divide both sides by a half in which case we'd have to invert that half and multiply so we'd end up multiplying by 2 or we can just multiply both sides by 2 since we have half of x and we need the whole x so let's just do it that way let's multiply 2 times both sides 2 times a half is 1 that gives us 1x one 168 times 2 is 336, so x equals 336. So let's check for reasonable. We have 1 half compared to 3, so it's about 6 times, the denominator is about 6 times as big as the numerator, and we've got 336 to 56, so yeah, about 6 times as big. Yep, that'll work. We'll take it.